One of my favorite trees. And I like visiting this particular tree because it's an old man of the forest, a giant of its kind. And the boer beans have started to flower already and this old man is a boer bean. And I'm hoping that this year he puts on a better show than he did last year. Last year he put on a dismal performance. And I was so hoping that he'd put on a nice show, but he obviously was harboring his strength, knowing that there was a tough season ahead. And sometimes old trees do that. They don't, uh, some years they flower, some years they don't, some years they push out a lot of flowers, other years they don't. Um, I haven't, I haven't been working here for long enough to realize what it is. I haven't observed enough of these trees, these comings and goings of the seasons to be able to tell you exactly um, why I feel that this is. I just have noticed it as a phenomenon that occurs. There's our old friend growing on top of the termite mound in the distance. And I'll stop in a little bit and just share some of this fantastic afternoon with him or her. I don't quite know if it's a him or a her. I can see already looking very good. Some elephant damaged some bark on it last year. I'm hoping that it doesn't have too much of a negative impact on its health and well-being. Sometimes when elephants ring bark a tree, they it's to the tree's detriment. And there you can see this old man of the forest standing sentinel over this particular road and its adjacent crossing. And look at that, isn't that just a fantastic tree? Scotia brachypetella. Colin, you've asked me an interesting question. How many bird species do you find in the Maasai Mara and in the uh, in Juma, respectively? Colin, there's about... Oh, I did used to know the answer to this question, Colin. Um, I'm not even going to hazard a guess, Colin. You know why? It's because I'm, I feel that I might get it wrong for you, but I'm wanting to say around about, in the Cole Kruger National Park area, it's probably around about 500 bird species, plus or minus a couple. Uh, and we'll get a selection of that here. In the Maasai Mara, I would imagine that there's probably about the same number of bird species. It's not quite, it's on the equator, but it's not quite a tropical jungle where you'd expect more birds to occur. Um, Perhaps one of my colleagues could answer that question a little bit better. I know that uh, Tristan is an avid birder, as is Brent, and both of them uh, would know the answer to this question, having probably been asked it a few times. Um, how many birds? I'm trying to think. I tell you there are 260 trees, but I can't remember how many birds there are. Can you believe it? So, Kaylin, uh, there will probably be in and around 500 at, uh, at both locations. Um, I don't think that there will be more than that here. Now, this particular boer bean hasn't got any flowers on again. That's interesting, you know. What if it's just the females that get flowers and it's not the male trees? None of these boer beans around this particular area have got any flowers on. I did see one yesterday with some flowers on. Not today. <laughs> Kathy, you want to know what are those African trees called that are flat on top? Kathy, they are quite aptly called the umbrella thorn acacias, or we're not allowed to use the word acacia, we've got to use the word vichilia now. So it's vichilia. Um, Vitilia tortillus is the umbrella thorn acacia.